its day. And the froglet or metamorphling is changing rapidly. His tadpole cartilage skull is becoming bone. The mouth parts once perfectly adapted for scraping algae will be shed. The froglet will develop tongue muscles needed for catching insects when it becomes a frog. Since getting four limbs, the froglet has stopped eating. The froglet's large intestine, important for digesting algae, is shrinking to suit a frog's meat-eating diet. The tail is all that sustains the froglet right now. The tail isn't dropped like a lizard. It is in fact reabsorbed. This is a slow process, taking more than a day in the Latoria carula species. The froglet's mouth is widening and its body is reducing in size as it becomes more frog-like and, become, and streamlined. The toe pads are clearly visible on the tree frog. Ground-dwelling frogs don't have toe pads. Now in the final stages of reabsorbing its tail, the frog hops in and out of the water. Frogs need water to keep moist and for breeding, but they no longer live in the water. Frogs drink and breathe through their skin. Young Latoria carula frogs have a band of black and cream running from their, from their nostrils to their eyes. There's still a little stump of a tail the next morning. Latoria carula are mostly nocturnal, hunting for insects at night. During the day, the frogs will hide in a log or crevice, or just sit on a leaf. Latoria carula can change colour from brown, olive green, leaf green, or blue green, depending on their surroundings. They reach maturity in just eight months and can have a lifespan of 20 years. Definitely my favorite frog species. I hope some of these young will survive to adulthood and I'll get to spot them around my neighborhood. But as they breathe, through, breathe and drink through their skin, it is important not to handle frogs. They can be killed with Pesticides, soap, or even just the oils on your skin.